I grew up in California. My mother always said, you need to see all the sun, and I didn't do it. The downside to Sabrina Falcon's love of outdoors came years later. Skin cancer formed on her nose, the basal cell type that's typically low risk and slow growing. Twice the flight attendant had cancer removed, then resumed her career traveling the globe. About two years ago when I was flying, I was having severe headaches on the left side of my head. And being a flight attendant was becoming more cumbersome. Frustrated, she talked to friends who recommended Mayo Clinic. A dermatologist at Mayo Clinic's Arizona campus solved the riddle. Previous surgeries did not catch all the cancer. It had silently crept throughout her nose. It was almost like the weight had also been taken off because they had found something that was wrong that I may not be here talking to you today. The diagnosis put her on a path to an innovative surgery and a regenerative medicine approach to recovery. Sabrina had the Mohs surgery, a procedure in which the tumor is removed under local anesthesia and immediately tested to ensure all cancer is gone. Cancer had claimed almost her entire nose from one side to the next, from the tip to the bridge. When I saw my face, I had a family member in the room and she broke down. You know, I just kept saying, I'm alive. The following day, I met Dr. Brittany Howard for the very first time. It was a miracle from the day I met her. Sabrina is the individual that you walk in and meet and you are so excited that if you have to go through something difficult in life, you're so glad she's the one walking beside you through it. With cancer gone, regeneration was about to begin. Dr. Brittany Howard is one of a few otolaryngologists specially trained in facial reconstruction. Her goal, restoring Sabrina's beauty while creating a breathing, aroma capturing, nasal fluid generating nose. So this was truly recreating something from nothing. She lost not only most of the outside lining of her nose, she lost the cartilage that provided her structure and she lost the inside lining of the nose. And so you have to reconstruct every single layer there so she ends up with a complete normal appearing and normal functioning nose. And you're thinking, okay, this is gonna be a journey. It would take five surgeries. Tissue from the forehead and scalp surgically removed and folded down to create internal and external lining for a new nose. This left an umbilical cord-like tissue connecting the forehead to the nose to keep blood flowing and transplanted skin alive. That was harder to see my face than it was with no nose. But at the same time, you have to keep your mental straight and know this is all temporary. Next, rebuilding the internal skeleton of the nose using cartilage from Sabrina's ear. In a regenerative approach found to be effective in animal research, Dr. Howard used donor cartilage chips to sculpt a new nose precisely to fit Sabrina's face. Really wanted to get an idealized shape to it that we just couldn't match using her tissue as it was. And so we actually took cartilage from outside, diced it up, molded it into this perfected shape of a nose. Sabrina chose an additional surgery to temporarily expand her forehead and generate new skin to restore her hairline. Finally, after six months, all her surgeries were completed. Was it nerve wracking at times? Absolutely. Was it scary? Yes. The pain and what you go through and what you have to endure to get to the end result can seem like a lifetime sometimes. Each day is one step further to where you need to be. Before and after photos show the successful outcome of her patience and persistence. And I feel like I look as normal as I did when I started. I breathe great. In fact, I probably breathe better than I did before. As she starts a new cancer-free life, Sabrina looks forward to going back to work and educating others about skin cancer and the wonders of regenerative medicine. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Susan Buckles.